Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today we will see the liposomes part two. So in this part two, exclusive, this is exclusive for the preparation of liposomes. You can see here part two, preparation of liposomes. Okay, that is exclusive. Part one is already completed. Part three also, I will uh, make it for you. Okay, no problem. Uh, see, in this method, uh, liposomes, this preparation of liposomes is very, very important for all regular examinations of B pharmacy, pharma D, as well as the M pharmacy. Keep in your mind. Okay, number of times it was appeared. There was no question paper without this topic, preparation of that, right? Okay. And you can see the injection here. Two methods we are using mainly key important ethanol injection, ether injection. Both starts with E, ethanol injection, ether injection. These are two very, very important ones. With this, beautifully you can prepare the liposomes. You can see this is a liposome, blue color liposome obtained from the uh, beautiful uh, injection of ethanol. Very, very important for all your uh, regular as well as for the uh, interviews. Interviews. Okay, right. This is my mobile app. You can be download it from the Google Play Store. Uh, there, all my presentations available in the form of PDF. It is nothing but a notes. Directly, you can be uh, practice it and draw in the examination. You can be write in the examination. After downloading, go to the store option. See the pointer here, the store option, and you select your course. Okay, and uh, subjects are av available. I will keep on uploading all the subjects for you. Okay. And a playlist, here you can see this is my YouTube channel, playlist. In the playlist, I have arranged all my videos, okay, in the subject wise. And if you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. This is about your uh, syllabus. This is common for every student, B form, M form, Pharma D. There is mainly, num actually there was a number of methods are there, liposomes preparation, number of methods. But all the methods we have categorized mainly into two. First one is an active loading technique. Passive loading technique, keep in your mind. Active loading, active, this is passive, okay? Not passive transport, active transport. That is comes in the biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics. Active loading techniques. Here what happened? First we are preparing the empty liposomes. Later we are loading the drug into the liposomes. That is called yeah, active loading. Here in the passive loading, you are loading the drug while you are preparing the liposomes itself. Simultaneous process here, passively. That's why this is passively. Here, this is actively. First, you prepare it. Later, actively, you have to load the drug. Okay? But these are not using regularly in our pharmacy field. But keep in your mind, passive loading techniques we are using. Again, it is classified into three categories, like mechanical dispersion method, where we are using uh, mechanical instruments like that. And the solvent dispersion. Solvent, we are going to be disperse. Okay? And uh, detergent removal method. See here, name itself biggest clue. If you follow the name, keep all, uh, all these names in your mind so that it is the biggest clue. Okay? But you have to listen it very carefully. Carefully, you have to see number of methods or n number of methods. Okay? I made it very short and sweet for you. First one is the thin film hydration method. See the name. Thin film hydration method. So, two divisions are there, thin film. See, formation of a thin film. See the red color, thin film uh, are formed first from the lipids. Okay, I will explain you. First one is a thin lipid film. Hydration, next one is hydration. Why you are going hydration means addition of water. Aqua solution we are going to add. So, first one is thin lipid film formation followed by hydration method. This is very, very important method, okay? So this is actually four step process here. I have shown you step one, step two, step three, step four. Very important. In step one, very simple also, very simple. First, what you have to do, dissolve the, your phospholipids. Phospholipids are the building blocks we know very well. Phospholipids you have to dissolve. See the red color. You have to dissolve with the organic solvent, like a chloroform, methanol, three to one ratio, like that you have to be choose and you have to dissolve the lipids. So lipids are automatically dissolves in the organic solvent. Go for the evaporation of the organic solvent by using a, this is a roto evaporator. Under the pressure, you are going to evaporate the organic solvent so that thin films are formed. 
these thin films are made up of lipid keep in your mind lipid that's why this is also called as a lipid film hydration method now you are going to add the aqua see drug uh, you, you suppose your drug is water soluble very easy you dissolve, dissolve with the aqueous media like uh, here i have drawn sterile water or normal saline buffer phosphate buffer uh, ph should be 7.4 hydrophilic drugs you dissolve here directly and then you can add it to the thin film this process is called as a hydration so that beautiful liposomes will be formed here liposome formation you will get a mlb this is all my uh, explanation same thing you can be right in the examination and see this method is very simple most commonly used most widely used generally used to prepare the mlb multi lamellar vesicles i have already told you but uh you can also but uh, can be converted this mlv later if you want you can be converted to suv okay single lamellar uh, sorry uh, small unilamellar large unilamellar like that you can be converted later okay but uh, the, this method is having a drawbacks like a low drug encapsulation drug will be remain outside only it will not enter uh, into the liposomes uh, much so that capacity encapsulation capacity is less here. okay and it difficult to do, get the uniform size of liposomes you may not get that is also one of the drawback difficult to scale up and micro emulsification this is uh, uh, micro see the here uh, this method is used to reduce the size of the large liposomes into small size keep in your mind okay here directly we are not preparing liposomes here okay here we are using a equipment it is called as a micro fluidizer you can see here micro fluidizer it is a equipment we are using here what's happening inside the equipment just very simple uh, here large liposome see here large liposome you can be passed through this this is the reservoir here you have to place it so it will be passed through that this is a big channel and it will be directed towards the micro channel see here this is micro channel this is also micro channel it will be passed through the micro channels each liposomes collide with each other at a right angles 90 degrees see here okay at right angles through the small orifice this small orifice diameter also 5 micrometer orifice okay there is a collision see here collision d just like a d both will get a dishum uh, dishum like that and uh, finally we'll get a small liposomes here see here small liposomes this is this is a happening what's happening inside the equipment this is photograph you cannot draw in the examination this you can you have to be draw in the examination after single passage once one passage you will get a uh, liposomes of 0.1 to 0.2 Uh, my friends and sonication process in the sonication sonication is nothing but a process sonicator is nothing but an instrument this instrument why you are calling as a sonication because it produces the ultrasonic waves okay so frequency is almost equal to 20 uh, kilohertz okay waves Uh, it hits the liposomes it hits the liposomes okay this this method we are using for the three method purpose one purpose two purpose three three purposes we are using purpose one so here i have shown to convert the multi lamellar vesicles into uh, large unilamellar vesicles and to convert the large unilamellar vesicles to sv there is a purpose one number two purpose two to get a uniform sized but this is heterogeneous sized uh liposome this is uniformly sized homogeneous sized liposome and number 3 making a solubilization of various drugs like a propofol see here propofol is having a low solubility here you have a mlv that you can be go for sonication okay you will get a liposomes which are solubilized now now do your drug is solubilized propofol anesthetic and there is a two types of sonicators Now uh, these two you can be drawing the examination. First one is a bath sonicator, just like water bath. How you are heating a beaker in a water bath? So this is a sonicator. It releases the uh, ultrasonic waves. See here, sample you have to keep in the bath. Sample you are keeping in the sonicator bath. That's why this is called a bath sonicator. Whereas a probe sonicator, probe it is just like a see here, just like pH meter. Here this is a sonication that. that probe you have to immerse into the uh, beaker liposomal solution so that waves will comes from this probe into the whereas here this is a reverse here from the bottom 
from the bath sonicator waves will come to the liposome here it is reverse from the sonicator it comes to the liposome see here this is from up to down this is down to up like that okay and the french pressure cell this is a photograph this is also a very simple method here we are using a piston here chamber we are using to place the liposome here we are using a high pressure piston even up to 240000 psi you are applying that's why this is made up of a stainless steel chamber very very important because it has to tolerate that much of pressure okay so whenever you are applying automatically big liposomes have will be converted uh, due to the pressure and it will become outlet through the small orifice this orifice is very small outlet to liposomes are very small and high pressure extrusion method this is also called as membrane extrusion method see here membrane we are using very thin here you can see the diameter also very thin mic this consists of a holes this is membrane this membrane consists of a holes you see small holes we are uh, using here uh, and uh, you, you can see all the big liposomes here you are passing with a pressure high pressure extrusion so that you will get a small liposomes outside big liposomes we are keeping here small liposomes will become outside like this okay big size here you are pumping big size and small size you are getting like that very easy to remember and freeze that technique freeze means you know very well decreasing the temperature thaw means rising the temperature see here like that these cycles we are using freeze tha freeze tha freeze tha. you can play reduce the temperature increase the temperature reduce the temperature increase the temperature like that you can play see here this this number of cycles you are going to freeze the cycle so your drug will be encapsulated with this method active loading also can be used method first you prepare the empty liposomes you can uh, put the drug here so that freeze the cycles so automatically drug will be uploaded so in freeze the method what we are using this is, and this is also we are using to increase the size of liposomes very very important for all competitive examination also see injection methods very simple see ether injection we are taking a ether in ethanol we are taking a ethanol that's it this is a ethanol injection ether injection only difference i will tell you here we are taking aqueous phase here we are taking organic phase keep in your mind this slowly here slowly we have to inject whereas a ethanol injection rapidly you have to inject here this is rapid injection here slow injection we are using and this is aqueous solution here organic solution here we are going to be evaporate uh, evaporate with the uh, with the help of a heat see here uh, heated water bath up to here heated water bath water bath and uh, here ethanol automatically evaporates need not to be heat ethanol is very easy to uh, evaporate so okay and uh, here it will be aqueous phase uh, you have to heat it then only ether will be evaporated but uh, how this is very important this is used for luv this is used for suv okay so ethanol injection advantages are also there uh, ether is very dangerous keep in your mind ether is very dangerous for health ethanol is very useful okay it, it is useful and also it is not much harmful regularly we are consuming uh, ethanol and uh, double emulsification technique in this method we are preparing a two emulsion see first we are preparing a primary emulsion water in oil water in oil see the see the color water color see the oil color water in oil you will get that is primary emulsion later we are combining this water phase uh, again we are adding a water so that we are getting a see water phase we are taking and we are using a surfactant also additional surfactant additional so you will get a double emulsification method so water in oil in water liposomes you will get and reverse phase evaporation phase is reverse phase is reverse see this is first method you know thin film hydration method in thin film hydration method what we are doing first we are evaporating the organic solvent so that you will get a thin film but here evaporation we are doing finally keep in your mind finally yeah and finally finally you can come to the detergent removal method in this method various detergents actually we are using various detergents for the preparation of the liposomes okay because surfactant we are using both lipids aqueous phase as well as a surfactant that is the lipids we are using later we are removing the detergent by using the various methods like a dialysis gel filtration 
chromatography that and all we are using see here dialysis bag we are using we know that this is a liposomal solution and these detergents are there these detergents will be removed from the water see here it came into the water okay like that so uh, i will end my session here